The simplest use of D2L by students and faculty is to communicate files without printing or photocopying onto paper. Faculty use the content area to convey files, hyperlinks, and other information to students. The content area is organized with subdivisions or folders called modules. As a professor, you can use modules not just to house, but also to organize your course content. Let's take a look. We access the content area by clicking Content on the navbar. First, let's take a look around. There are many more features than I'll be able to discuss in this video, but here I'll stick to the very basics. In a typical course, links to various kinds of content called topics appear in this center right area. To the left, beyond some specialized links, is a list of modules under the heading Table of Contents. If I click the Table of Contents link, I see in the center right page a single scrollable outline of all the content in all the modules within this course. As an instructor, this includes all content, regardless of visibility settings I have set for any module or content topic. On the left, if I click a particular module name, the view in the center right is limited to the topics within that module. Content topics are the basic building blocks of course content housed within modules. Examples of content topics include hyperlinks to sites outside of D2L, files stored within your course D2L space, Dropboxes, discussion topics, or quizzes integrated into a module. To access any content topic, I click its name. If it's a hyperlink to a site outside D2L, I'm taken to that site. But if, as in this case, it's a file housed within my D2L course space, I'm taken to a dedicated page where that file may or may not be displayed depending on its file type, but in any case, is downloadable from this page. The most common files professors upload into their D2L course spaces are, typically, .docx files and .pdf files. D2L can display both in an embedded viewer with its own tool set, so students need not download them to read them. In D2L, discussions, dropboxes, and quizzes are stored in their respective areas accessible via the navbar. But they can be added to content topics, so they are integrated into a course outline together with files, hyperlinks, and other relevant course content. You can create, and in most respects, edit discussions, drop boxes, and quizzes in their respective areas or here in content. These types of interactive content built within D2L are discussed at length in other videos. When in any particular content topic page, there are some useful buttons up towards the top right. With this four-way arrow button, I can have a topic expand into a full screen for easier viewing. With these left and right arrows, I can scroll between content topics in the course. I have here a blank course. Let's create a content module and upload a file. Right now, there's no modules in this course listed under Table of Contents but I do have a blank here that allows me to add a module. I click it and type in a name. Then I hit enter on my PC keyboard or return on my Mac keyboard in order to create the module. I can upload a file to this module in two ways. If I have a larger computer monitor or I'm using multiple computer monitors, I could drag the file in from a file explorer or finder window or my desktop. On smaller monitors, typical of laptops, or if I need to navigate through my file folder tree, I can click the blue New button and choose Upload Files. Then I choose My Computer, and then press the Upload button. This takes me to a conventional navigation window, which allows me to find files on my computer. 
I click the file or files I'd like to upload, and then click Open. Once I see those files or file name listed here, I click Add, and D2L adds the file to the module. At any time, I can move topics and modules around in the content area in D2L by clicking and dragging over these three horizontal lines next to the name of the topic or the module. So for example, I can move this file by clicking and holding these three lines into another module. Once I see that that module is highlighted, I can release my mouse button and that file will move to that module. Modules can actually exist in D2L inside of other modules as submodules. I can click and hold this dragging handle for this module and hover over this module here in order to have it installed as a submodule. When I do that, the name will slightly indent underneath this module. And within the module in the center right, I'll see that this special box has been added representing the submodule. I can move my syllabus file up above that submodule within this module. You can see that D2L has a dark blue line that shows where the file will go if I release the mouse button. 